Afternoon colleagues, my name is Agnes Chikonzo and I'm the librarian for the University of Zimbabwe. Uh, to present this uh, paper, I've got my colleague Audrey. Audrey, <laughs> she's a university librarian for Bindura University of Science Education. Okay, our title is Challenges Faced by Librarians and Researchers. How these are being overcome where they currently remain, and uh, we are looking at the Zimbabwean perspective. Uh, an overview of our presentation, we have a brief introduction, then we'll touch on the types of sources, information sources, challenges, strategies, and how can publishers support research in Zimbabwe, and lastly, we'll look at the way forward. Uh, as a way of introduction, uh, researchers consume massive amounts of inf information from journal articles, books, theses, databases, conferences, and collaborators. And uh, journal articles are one of the most prominent sources of information for researchers. For example, physicists uh, read an average of 204 articles per year, while chemists read approximately 276 articles each year. Uh, what are the types of information uh, researchers have access to? Uh, we have uh, subscriptions. Uh, these are e-journals and e-books uh, from some of the publishers seated in this house. Uh, we also have free online resources, free in quotes, because someone is paying for them, from FAO, Agora, Wu, and Inari. Then we also have our local content, which are the electronic theses and dissertations. Uh, past examination papers and all those articles that are deposited in our institutional repositories. Then we also have um, open access uh, resources. What are some of the challenges uh, faced by researchers? There's uh, information overload. Uh, budgets are very limited. Uh, Zimbabwe has uh, faced challenges over the years. There's also an issue of poorly designed navigation. Uh, you find that many researchers rely on only one or two databases, and often they miss uh, unique information that is available through other resources. Then there's also need to review our curriculum in library schools so that librarians keep up to date with what is happening uh, in the well, IT world. Issues of internet connectivity, uh, Francina has touched on them. All these, uh, they hamper uh, the researcher. There's also an issue of reliability. You find that print journals do not experience technical difficulties. However, when a publisher server goes down, access to electronic content is temporarily lost. And also access to many electronic resources is rendered rather than owned. So if the institution cancels a subscription, access to big files is also lost. Then the other issue is librarians and scientists cannot therefore rely completely on electronic resources. Issues of internet, internet connectivity, I, I think we've already touched on, on that. Uh, low bandwidth and as a result, articles take too long to download and researchers sometimes they get frustrated. What are some of the strategies that have been employed, employed in Zimbabwe to overcome some of these challenges? Uh, universities are making appreciable efforts individually and collaboratively at establishing affordable ICT links, which invariably enhances internet connectivity through the formation of NRIES. Uh, as uh, Zimbabwean University, University, we have formed a consortium, the Zimbabwe University Libraries Consortium, to share e-resource subscriptions cost and also for professional development activities. Uh, as a consortium, institutions have also embarked on information literacy training for students who are our future researchers and also we offer information literacy to researchers. 
This is to ensure that um, electronic resources are effectively utilized. And also, we want to ensure that we get value for money because we pay a lot of money in subscriptions. Uh, this is just to show that uh, facilities are available for information uh, literacy training. This is one of our, our computer and in information literacy training lab at one of the Zook institutions. That is also IL training session, just to ensure that you know our users are well equipped, they get the skills to search so that in the end we are getting value for money. Uh, how can publishers support research in developing countries? Uh, sub, yeah, publishers can support sustainable and equitable, equitable availability, encourage the inclusion of developing country research in their journals. They should also think low bandwidth and provide options to increase accessibility. And they should also provide promotional materials and cooperate with local outreach and agencies where possible. And what is the way forward uh, to overcome some of these challenges? Uh, we find that consortium formation is necessary as, in, as it encourages economics of scale and purchasing of bandwidth in bulk through VSAT. Uh, review of curriculum in library and information schools to keep librarians abreast with IC uh, developments is also critical. Then cost issues can be helped somewhat by making the most of the free web-based resources that are available. Uh, you find that web-based resources, they also present possibilities as well as problems. Uh, information training programs should be intensified. A thorough literature search can save a scientist weeks in the laboratory. And lastly, uh, librarians can provide tools to help researchers better utilize web-based resources. Uh, for example, the EBSCO Discovery tool. Um, subject directories can also help researchers to cut through the information overload on the web and more quickly find relevant and high quality information. Um, as Zook as a consortium, uh, like I earlier mentioned, uh, we also we, we are also involved in uh, professional development uh, activities. And this is uh, just to show you uh, we had our OA workshop sometime and just this is just evidence to show that as a consortium, we, we are really into, you know, some of these activities. Then this is also, just to show you, this is the OA workshops again, with some of the facilitators uh, sitting in front. One of them is in this house, Elena, there. She, she was one of the facilitators at the, our consortium uh, OA workshop. And just in February, we had our Zook strategic plan workshop and Elena, again, you can see her in the picture. <laughs> she was uh, uh, one of uh, our facilitators, and those are the consortium members. Thank you. <laughs>